okay. Fin the Fang Bear. I, I definitely want to try this with the Traxa. Surprisingly, not actually done this yet. Gives Death Touches Toxic 2. They could have errated that, I suppose. It just makes it a bit harder to... You know, there's just a few more words to say, I suppose. I think land is fine. We want to get to four anyway. Here we go. Finn. They're going to have green and white. And what tribe have they chosen? Cat elemental. I guess it's a cat deck. There we go. It certainly is a cat deck. Well, they're probably not going to block here. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> so, I think we're going to go for the quick silver servitor here. It was tempting to get the tap land out of the way, but I feel like we've already infected or poisoned infected them for two. Getting some automatic hits with it, with poison would be pretty good. Ooh, makes their other cats bigger. Well, sadly for them, we have... Oh my goodness, so much removal. What do we do? Yeah, we'll get rid of this one. So now they don't have very good blocks at all. And my goodness, that was quick. This deck is so obnoxiously fast. I don't know why I don't see this in the queue. It's kind of strange. It's very, very powerful. Hi guys, my name is Josh and today we are revisiting an old classic Atraxa Praetor's voice. This is the OG Atraxa, the first one to ever come out, so don't worry I'm not using the 7 mana one today. Not even inside the deck, but feel free to add it yourself. This is essentially a proliferation build, which is updated for this year, 2024. There's a lot of really nice pieces we want to put into the deck, namely anything that increases the poison count for your opponent by plus one and i don't want to just include stuff that has to attack to give infect uh, or poison counters so things like infectious inquiry are really nice because it just gives you cards you lose life but your opponent gets a poison counter and as soon as they get even one poison counter the clock is ticking and it becomes very intense it's like a it's like an episode of 24 with kiva sutherland where you're just ticking down and Every few minutes, you're putting it to the extra poison counter, and they're wondering if they can stop Traxxer. It's a pretty fun bit of... It's like a mini game, to be honest. And I think you'll really enjoy using this deck. It's a very aggressive curve. Nothing too, like, heavy on the, on the upper end here. We want to keep it aggressive so we can get the proliferation started as soon as possible. So let's join me today, and let's see if we can actually poison our opponents. Okay, a decent start versus a very aggressive deck. Voja again! This this wolfy boy is certainly haunting the haunting the queue. It's funny because for years before this card, he was like an add-on to Tulsimir. It was Tulsimir that would make the wolf, but then they thought, screw it, let's make a crazily pow powerful uh, wolf by himself, and there you go. Uh. I probably should have gone for this first, but that does mean that. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, I didn't have an untapped black source on turn one, so... I couldn't do what I want to do. I don't really want to use a resource up before the attractor comes down. Yeah, like turn three attracts, it's pretty good, right? And then we can follow up next turn with another black spell. Just so they don't have any removal for it. I mean, they do have three different colours, lots of different variation. Let's see what happens. White Sun's Twilight could make us a few infectors as well. Oh, a lovely bit of protection there. Okay. Four mana. Kill spell won't be able to hit the Voja because it's got ward three. So what do we do? Uh we can only do one black spell, so it's just thought seize. Ooh. So there's Tulsimir. 
I think we'll kill the all in here. They don't have five mana. Although the Kessig Naturalist does give them five, actually. But if they attack in with that, I'll happily just block. We'll see. We've got a lot of nice ways out of this. And um, just because we don't have the mana to kill Vol Voja yet, we can do it in our turn. Because we can use the Guild of Goose here to create a food. And then in our turn, we'll have access to at least five mana to go for the Get Lost on there. But Rada. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. I shouldn't have passed priority. Okay. Forgot to make a food token. Good damn it. I keep making food token mistakes. Yeah, I should have made a few tokens twice now. Goodness me, I'm going to have complaints coming out the wazoo. Because apparently I'm never, ever, ever, ever allowed to make mistakes. The joys of being a YouTuber, hey? It's a bit weird, right? Because people call themselves YouTubers. I still don't really consider myself a YouTuber. I feel like YouTuber is a, is a full-time job. But currently this is just pretty much part-time, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not doing it full-time, so there you go. There's the answer. Kill that immediately. Although it does mean that Pulp Collector will go up to a 5-5. Five, five. This is stupid. Stupid card. Beseju. Destroy all the creatures. This might come in handy at some point. Okay, looks like we're just going to have a tractor as a wing con here. We don't have any way to just give them a poison counter. This is the importance of having cards that aren't just attack creatures. Attack, give them poison, bloody -de blah. You need to have some things that just give poison without attack. Because otherwise you have this scenario where we can't get through with our ground creatures. They're going to use a map. Visionary on top. Gwenna, Stefani. Okay, they're just going to go full aggro mode here. I think I'm actually, I'm actually going to do this, Surge. Prevent all damage that black or red sources would deal to creatures you control. So we're going to not lose the Atraxa. And this debuffs their wolves. Which is pretty good. And takes them off some bonus mana. They're down to 13. Let's make a goddamn food. <laughs> this so many times. Elf, elf, wolf. Okay. Otawara. That's going to be a nice card to keep. Let's go over the top again. Down to nine. Okay. We are not actually doing any, in fact, whatsoever this game. Apparently, we are just straight up going for. Regular damage. <laughs> yeah, I think this White Sun's Twilight is going to come in very handy. Destroy all other creatures. This is going to just completely annihilate them. And yes, it will mean we lose a Traxer. So they're going to untap that. I kind of wish they had the Ashire out. That would have dealt even more damage. And they're not going to attack. They still don't have reach. Okay. Is that going to kill us? Are they going to draw a card for each wolf? I'm wondering if we even need to use the White Sun's Twilight. Uh, maybe. We'll see. 
Do we need to even... Can we take one more hit? I don't think we can. I think we're just going to do this now. Having a Vodra out is just way too risky. And yeah, we're going to leave... Uh, are we going to leave the Otawara in a hand? I think so. Not sure if I want to use it yet. They only have five left, so we literally have lethal on board. That is a creature. We and we did it with regular damage. We won with regular damage, guys. <laughs> that feels so cheeky. We only got infected at the end. That's funny. Okay, we got a pretty decent start. Now our elves. Some removal. And a payoff. Voja. The boogeyman of the format. <laughs> so let's see. We actually don't have an untapped green source on turn one. So we're just going to go for Zegoth. Try him here. It's a bit of a shame. And we really essentially need a board wipe to deal with Vodra. That's the only real way to kind of take this down quickly. I'll agree this. Do we care about that so much? Uh, I think we're just going to ramp here. It's tempting to use the absence. But I feel like I want to save this for something a bit bigger. Druid. Treasure. So we are in a bit of trouble here because they, they could go for Voja next turn. We can't target it anyway because of Ward 3. So maybe we just slow them down a bit. And pray for a board wipe. I think that's all we can really do here. Tear asunder. It's a bit too slow to hit Voja with that. It would cost seven. Because the ward three on top of the paying extra two there to get any anything. Okay. So I guess we'll just go for the attractor. And we can also do prologue to Pharesis as well. Uh, actually, we're going we're gonna to do that now so we can proliferate as well. So they get two poison. And at this point, it's actually really tempting to block the Vojo, but I wonder if they're going to have a way to stop that happening. Broji Evolution, oh my goodness. Trample. Yeah, I think we... I think we trade her. They only have four mana, so they will struggle to get, get that again, especially when we're going to bounce the Druid with the Teferi here. I think we're going to have to, because this alone taps for three mana now. Arch Druid, okay. This isn't a fight you can win. So yeah, definitely gonna bounce the Druid. They don't have access to white mana. Here we go. Um And then we go for the Skrulls Hive. So we're actually in a pretty decent situation here. We might even be able to protect Teferi if they choose to attack in. We can block with the Lanarovs. I think our current mission will be to take care of the Druid. Yeah, I think I will block. Oh, oh, incredible. And we get an eerie ultimatum as well. We got very lucky there. The fact they just kept missing land drops meant that we can take on the Voja. So, yeah, that is very unfortunate. Apologies to the opponent there for not getting any lands. Okay, two very strong decks facing off each other. Pock is always a tough one. I think we'll start with... Yeah, the Triome here. These come, Everything comes untapped, which is a bit of a shame. The land base was actually pretty tricky to get right. Because when you have four colours, you basically have to sacrifice a, quite a few basics if you want to have a lot of duels. So there is that. And only we can't actually take care of the Cobra either. Let's see if they choose to block. I feel like it's unlikely. Oh my goodness, they're going to trade. 
That means they can't go for turn three puck. That's wild. That is pretty crazy. I don't think I would have actually blocked that. Very peculiar. And yep, let's kill that. So it's a plus one plus one counter strategy. Interesting. So now we have a trap out. How are they going to deal with this? Mono green traditionally doesn't have too many good answers for just killing. I mean, we do, we are a flyer, so there are a few effects that just destroy flies. Skithrix. Oh my. So we can't hit them with them yet. But oh, things are going to get pretty, pretty scary for them soon. This is traditional infect, which means it puts on straight four poison counters when this hits. Combine that with the Tyrannix Rex we're going to get in a couple turns as well. That's going to be pretty wild. Although saying that, we have this, we have six lands now. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Let's just go for straight up basic here. Um, go over the top. So... What... Um, do I do? I mean, I guess I'll just kill the puck. Land on elves, and I think we probably win next turn. Considering we have Skithrix. This is a pretty quick deck. This is probably the fastest version of a tracks you could really make, which is certainly makes a nice change from the seven mana Traxxer, which kind of it's strong, but it just takes a while to kind of reach critical mass. They need a way to deal with the Skithrix here, or they, they will just die from Infect and Atraxa proliferation. Do they have a fight spell? Okay. Do they have anything else? They don't have any reach. They don't have any flyers. Damn. I mean, I guess that's a nice little showcase there. I had to deal with Myth Myth Weaver Pock is just have loads of flyers and go over the top. <laughs> Seems pretty cool. I'm going to quickly interrupt this video to tell you this video is not sponsored. And because of that, the channel does need help from people like you. So if you do want to support the channel in your own way, you can like and subscribe, which is completely free. But if you want to go the extra mile, you can donate to the channel via my Ko-fi link below or become a channel patron. And if you become a channel patron, you can get a custom video of your choice. Check out the details below. All right, Elish Norn. This is one of Atrax's minions, right? Let's see if they obey our orders here. Elish Norn. Mother of machines. Let's have a look in your round then. What we got going on? Mono white. How scared are we of mono white? Eh. Oh my. Uh, let's get rid of that. I don't want them looking into my soul. My soul is my own to look into. Crystal Grotto. Damn, they really want to scry too with that, don't they? With the yellow snow fair enough. And they've emptied their entire hand almost, so... Uh, yeah, okay, fine. So they have Resto Angel to flicker the dog if they really need to. Sure thing. Oh, they're going for it. So if we get White Source here, we'll just use the Absence on Alish Norn, I believe. Um... Untapped white source. She will come in. Let's take her out. That'll slow him down a little bit. They have a lot of cards in their hand. Could be a, a lot of removal, to be perfectly honest. We will have to see what they have. Well, I guess whatever they use on the Traxxer will be one fewer to use on Skithrix. 
I find that normally when people hover over stuff, they have an answer for it. I don't know if that's just part of the way the game's been made or just human psychology. Maybe not. I mean, they, they, they looked at Atraxa and then drew a card, so who knows? Seal from existence. Ward three. No, we'll keep under there. War 3 is pretty good. It's hard to deal with this. Okay. We'll go for Skithrix. Kind of force them to have removal over and over again. And the next turn... I don't know. Serum Snare. I want to really infect them before I start proliferating. Because it feels like a waste otherwise. There's Monument. So yeah, I think Skithrix is much scarier than Atraxa. Which is kind of funny. We can also regenerate him, so any destroy effects will be ignored. So I wonder if people know how regenerate actually works. I guess it removes it from combat, doesn't it? Yeah, that's something about regenerate. So if the creature wasn't tapped, it would be tapped. Okay, so basically two mana to fog. That's fair enough. Okay, we're just preparing for the following turn now. Uh, toxic Infect. And we're going to have, hopefully, Toxic 4. So let's see how this goes. They only, they're only they doing a, a very impressive amount of things with only three actual mana. The Monument is going to be annoying as well, all these ground blockers. But we kind of have... What we need in the air. We'll, we'll see. They're drawing a lot of cards here. And making a lot of dudes. My goodness. Okay. Let's see how they react to a Tyranex Rex. So the reason they had priority there is because Maze Mind Tone, basically. So if we block with this... No, we'll... Uh, no, we don't want to just randomly die. Okay, let's see. So the total of eight infects to be had here. We've got four from the Terranx Rex and four from the Skithrix. So essentially, they need a board wipe, really. A seven mana, eight, eight. Trample, Ward four, Haste, Toxic four. That's a lot of words, but it is seven mana, I guess. Seven mana is where the game is won, normally. Just look at Approach of the Second Sun, if you disagree. We're going to take out the Resto Angel with a block. Okay. I'm fine by that, really. I presume they don't have a board wipe, because otherwise they would have maybe blocked with more things. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Because it's got Trample. I guess with Trample, people are like, eh, there's no point blocking. But they do die next turn if they don't have enough removal or wipes. Okay, Resto Angel is going to flicker the dog, so they're going to draw an extra card. Oh, and they get to put four counters on something, but we have a Serum Snare. So, I'm not really that bothered about this. That was actually a pretty good spell, though, to play. Let's just hope they don't have any hexproof effects here. And they're going to draw for no reason there. Now I know they don't have any mana open. It makes my turn a hell of a lot easier. Oh dear. I think we got him. Well, actually, to be honest, we'll see because they still have to block... This, really. They're going to take four, but then if Blight Belly Rat dies... Actually, bl yeah. They need to block the Blight Belly Rat with the companion so it doesn't die, because if it dies, we proliferate. So we've put them in a horrendous situation here. That is the wrong block to do. But I guess the writing's on the wall. Damn, 12 poison. <laughs> we overkilled with poison. That's quite rare to see, isn't it? I had a very weird problem with this deck, and it's just too good. It's too fast, too powerful. Its reputation precedes it. And 
it's weird because times have gone on and I don't think she's as good as she used to be. I think she used to be absolutely bonkers, but power creep happened and now she's weirdly entered a very balanced state, but she doesn't really do much by herself. Yes, she's a ticking time bomb, but she doesn't... The pressure from her is from the proliferate if you have poison. If you don't have poison, there's not really pressure. Like, she's got incredibly good stats for Voltron. I think most people are just probably fed up of face of the track so that might be part of it even though it's not the one that people are normally scared of it's obviously people quick to skip three it's fairly understandable there given how i spoke about how a johnny could just put counters on him and make him a two hit kill but they want to know that it's definitely powerful but i i think it's fine i don't think it's i would have part of the pun toxic or cancerous in in that frame of mind there's definitely a lot of ways to kill her a lot of ways to stop her it's such a removal heavy format that if you can't constantly deal stuff each turn anyway then your deck probably has problems in the meta and it is sad to have to mention that but that's sadly what historic brawl is it's 1v1 very high powered so you probably need more removal if you're struggling to deal with this attractor because she doesn't draw your cards she doesn't give you any physical advantage the advantage she gives is more as i said psychological so as i said also in the gameplay you need to have a lot of stuff to rely on not hitting in combat because combat can be one of the hardest things to win with if people have board wipes good blockers productive phoresis and any effects like this are going to be 100 percent useful to include so you need to put stuff like that in you know even what's the other one we've got uh infectious inquiry as well yes there's a few cards that do this just give you a print poison so keep that in mind when building this deck the deck list will be in the description below if you think you want to give it a go, why not? If you want to support the channel for free, like, subscribe, tell a friend. Tell a friend promotes the video in incredible ways. It's almost like getting double views for the channel. And if you do want to support even more, you can donate to the channel via Ko-fi and Patreon. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Watch another one. Did you know that you can help my channel by watching another one of my videos? Go ahead, you know you want to.